just say this because people ask me all the time. I don't do anything that other people can't do. It may be a little more difficult for you, like I said, if you have kids and you can't travel when you want or you are not your only dependent. One of the big reasons I think I can afford travel is because I'm very, very, very flexible in my mind. I have a whole list of places that I want to go. So I'm very open to going anywhere or almost any point. I just go on Google Flights, I go wherever, and I just type in places. This is how I got my tickets to Japan. Just type in Japan, Tokyo, type in China, type in any of the places you want to go and look at the flights for that time period. Just look for whatever time period you want to go. And if they're not in the price range you care to spend, don't buy them. <laughs> like, don't buy them. Right now, let's just say I'm thinking about going to Tokyo. I'll sit at my computer and I look at flights to Tokyo in December. Probably like $1,200 ish, which makes sense. That's how much it always is to go to Asia for Washington DC. So then I check for January, check for February, check for March, check for April. Usually I've learned like going to Korea and Japan, you can find the cheaper prices like spring and fall. If I want to go to Japan in December and I know that the flights in March are $600 but flights in December are $1,200, I'm not going in December. I'm going to put that trip off till March and I'm probably going to go somewhere else that doesn't experience higher traffic in December. Somewhere where it's warmer, where people are not likely to be until the summertime when the prices go way up go somewhere like South America or somewhere to the beach areas in like December, January, cause the flights are gonna be like half the prices. Then experiment with different um, airlines. Don't just take Google flights as the end all be all. Like go to Google flights and look at their prices. Then go to Southwest, like I said, and look for their prices, not to Asia cause they don't go to Asia, but you know, that's how I found Air China because they had the cheapest flights to Tokyo that I could find out of all the airlines. And I actually found them through Cheap O Air. And I found Cheap O Air through Google Flights. Like you just gotta sit and look. I feel like a lot of people act like they wanna travel, but they don't wanna put in the work to actually travel. So yeah, that's really just it. I go search for flights and I look for the cheapest flights at whatever time period I want to travel. And then depending on where I find the cheapest flights to, that's where I go. That's just how it works. Because if you're, if you're going into this like super strict and you know in your mind, oh, I definitely want to go to Indonesia and I definitely want to go in December, then you're going to have to pay whatever prices you get for Indonesia in December that they give you. That's just it. I would say that's the biggest thing. Okay, number one, that can definitely be knocked out no matter who you are. You don't need to spend money on alcohol, especially in eating out as much as you are doing. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Okay, so food and alcohol, y'all need to cut that out. Or, I'm not trying to judge anybody, like I said earlier. That's your prerogative. But if you keep coming to me and you act like you really, really want to travel, I'm going to let you know what you need to stop doing to travel. Food and alcohol, you need to cut it out. All those monthly expenses on things like, like I said, Hulu, Netflix, Apple Music, all those other things. If you really care about it, keep it. If it's really not necessary, get rid of it. Go look at your bank statements online and look at all the things coming out of your thing monthly. If you don't even use these things anymore, get rid of it. Like, I just cannot believe people create this many expenses for themselves. And third, y'all need to learn how to budget and figure out and like calculate these things. Everything travel related that I do pretty much goes in here you need to get a journal you need to get one of these and you need to start sitting down and writing stuff down where do i want to go what do i want to do when i get there how much is that going to cost how much is the plane tickets going to cost how much uh like if i got to take a uber from the airplane to the hotel how much the hotel going to cost? all that stuff you need to write it down you need to write it down i know everybody again has probably heard but like you're more likely to achieve your goals if you write them down write them down and i'm not your mother i'm not gonna sit here and badger y'all y'all need to write let me get it together fourth you need to actually sit down and, and try like don't be so quick to go to a travel agent don't be so quick to look for someone else to do the work for you if cost is your main concern which is what this video is about then definitely find a person or multiple people to travel with split the, the housing arrangements, you know, stuff like that. Um, I know a lot of you have probably heard, like if you book flights on Tuesdays, being that like it could be a Tuesday night that you're searching for flights or you could book 
your flight to leave on a Tuesday, you'll probably find cheaper prices than you definitely will on like a Friday. In general, try to book on like Tuesdays on Wednesdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. When I heard use incognito because websites will track your cookies and they'll look at like your past flights that you've purchased and they'll be like, oh, she's willing to pay this much to go to Japan, so we'll charge her this much again. But if you use incognito, supposedly they can't track your cookies and like you'll get a better price. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I heard. That's two. Third, traveling during the off seasons, like I said, don't try to go to Mexico in May when everybody else is going to May and they're going to jack the prices way up. Try going in like a January, December type when it's colder and less people are partying in Mexico. Oh, I didn't mention this, the low fare calendar. Some websites have this, some don't. I wish all of them did, but if you're going like Southwest or I think if you just look for low fare calendars, you don't have to like type in specific dates to see the prices like they'll give you a whole month worth and you can just look through the month and like they'll highlight the cheapest day so if i get the whole month of december and the flight to mexico is like 223 dollars thursday 13 it'll show you it'll be green all the other ones will be blue so look for the low fare calendars it makes comparing prices a lot easier another thing you need to follow the travel community like on facebook i follow travel pages Stuff like that, like I heard if you follow like cruise lines, like they'll offer deals and you won't even know the deal exists unless you're following their social media. So stuff like that, like cruise lines, airlines, um, just following other people who travel in general. Like, first of all, it exposes you to things, you learn things, just, you know, not to do this, to do that, blah, blah, blah. You'll hear about good trips, you'll hear about new destinations that you may or may not want to go to. Also, it'll just keep you motivated, just keeping travel in your mind, just be like, okay. Also, if... You can't afford to travel every single month, that's fine. If you can't afford it every other month, that's fine. Maybe you can only afford to go once a year. That's still once a year that you can be trying to plan a trip. That's all I, I can think of right now. That's also all I have time for right now. I literally feel like I just rambled for like 45 minutes. Lord have mercy on my soul. <laughs> yes, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up. Um, Just do it. Like. <laughs> I work hard on my videos, so if you have to give it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be well, y'all. Go to work, pick up some shifts, do what you gotta do to get a raise, or in advance on your pay, and just do your thing, boys. I don't know. Happy trip.